A couple nights ago, it was late, I was getting ready to go to bed and I had posted a video that day and I thought, let me just take a quick look at the video analytics so I can check how the video is doing. And I went to go open up the YouTube Studio app and it said that I had been logged out of my account. And I thought, okay, that's weird. Let me, let me try to access it uh, on my laptop. So I open up my laptop, I do the same thing and it says that I've been logged out of my account. Now, it was late and lately I've been trying not to look at blue screens before I go to sleep. And so I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna close this, I'm just gonna go to bed and deal with this in the morning. Big mistake, big mistake. So I go to bed, I wake up the next day in the morning and say, okay, let's figure out why I got logged out, let's see if we can log in. I try to log into my account and it says, uh, your password's not right. And I'm like, okay, that's weird. Um, it says we can send a verification code to this number not my number. And I was like, oh no. Did that just happen? Did I just get completely hacked? Is my account hacked? So what I do next is I go onto YouTube and I search for my channel, Guitar Cody. Nothing comes up and I'm like, that's weird. Um, and so I search for the most recent video that I had just posted. I search for the title, nothing comes up. And I'm like, what is happening? Like, where is, where is my channel? Where are my videos? Why is everything gone? And I keep searching for things and I can't find it. Like I am just not anywhere to be found on YouTube. Um, I keep searching and every time I type in Guitar Cody, what pops up is a Tesla channel. And I, I click on that channel, I'm like this is weird. Hmm. They have the same exact subscriber count as me. They have the same exact view count as me. This is my channel. My channel has been hijacked and changed to a Tesla channel. What is happening? So basically, we got hacked, majorly hacked. And the people that took over my account, not only uh, they took over my email, they changed the two-factor authentication so there was no way for me to get in. They changed the recovery email and they added a pass key. So I was completely locked out of my account and they owned everything. They owned the passwords, they owned every email I've ever sent. They owned all of my contacts, all of my sensitive information, like tax information, um, everything. And there was nothing that I could do to access it. Every time I tried to recover the email, it would send a verification code to their phone number, to their recovery email, and I was completely screwed. I was like, what can I do? There's nothing I can do. So after searching on the internet for a couple hours, I was like, there's nothing I can do. Like I, I've followed all the Google instructions and it just takes me in a circle. It's an endless loop of recover your email, you know, and it just sends it to the wrong email, it sends your information to the wrong phone number because everything had been changed. And I was like, so stressed. I, I felt sick to my stomach, really. I was like, all my videos are gone. I don't know if they've been deleted, all the hard work that I've put in. Um, Every, everything was gone. I felt, I felt sick. So what's the scam? I'll tell you what the scam is. And let me tell you, these guys are getting really good at scamming people and it's, it's really sad. So I got an email uh, a couple weeks ago from a site called Vista Create and it looked really professional. They said they wanted to collaborate with my channel and that they wanted me to do like an integration ad and that they were gonna obviously compensate me for that. Um, and everything looked, everything looked pretty legit. And I was communicating with them. About a week later, I got another email from a different company that was quite similar. Uh, and they said, here's the instructions. You have to download this file. Okay, red flag. Um, and in that file, you're gonna have all the instructions of what to do, okay? So I download the file. Um, at first, things seemed pretty normal. There was like a Word document with a script for me to um, say everything that they wanted me to say. <clears throat> they said, you can put this in your own words or you can use the script, you know. As, as you like, they had a couple demonstration or demo videos, they had their company logo in the download file. <clears throat> and then there was also one other thing that I clicked on and it said, I forget what it said, but it said like your, your computer needs like permission to access this file. And I was like, that's kind of weird. Seems a little sketchy, not so sure about this, but whatever, I'll do it. And I did it, which was a huge mistake when I did that that gave the hackers access to all of my information and that's how I got scammed. So if you're an upcoming YouTuber or an aspiring YouTuber and you get emails like this, be very careful um, and make sure, 
look where the email is coming from because these guys are pretending to be real companies, which these are real companies, but they pretend to be them. They'll have a slightly different email um, and they'll just pose as being somebody that they're not. So be very careful. The other one I got recently was from NordVPN, which I've, I've seen a lot of YouTubers advertise them, um, but I'm pretty dang sure that that one's a scam too. So be careful. So at that point I was feeling super sad, super depressed that I had lost everything. I didn't know what else to do. So I created a, another YouTube channel and I figured I can't just sit here and do nothing. So I have to, I have to fight back essentially. So I decided that I would try to find some of my audience members, email you guys and ask if you could report the YouTube channel. So if you received a comment from me, that was actually me. It might've seemed a little bit weird. I apologize for inconveniencing you because it probably sounded weird. I was, I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. Um, so thank you. If you guys did report the channel, I very, very much appreciate that. Then I don't know, maybe a half day later or so the channel changed from its Tesla to a Donald Trump, uh, channel. And this hacker was putting live streams and fundraiser events to raise money for himself. Um, so I hope none of you guys donated to that, but it's just a total mess and a, and a total scam. It's, it's really sad to me that these types of people will just go in and take everything and not care at all and rob people of their money. Um, it's, it's really, really sad. I think I lost about 200 subscribers, so I apologize. Please come back. I promise that wasn't me. Finally, what ended up happening is I had to make a Twitter account. I don't even have a Twitter, but I had to make a separate Twitter account where I had to tag Team YouTube, ask them for help, um, and shout out to Team YouTube. They were fantastic. They responded to me very quickly um, and started to get the ball rolling on how I could start the recovery process. I had to answer all these questions and finally got the account recovered. So. Guitar Cody is back. I think the channel handle is still a Tesla something. It takes like 12 days to change, they said, um, which is weird because I don't know how the hacker changes so fast twice. But uh, Guitar Cody is back, thankfully, and we will soon return to your prepaid programming. Um, so thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you for supporting, and I will see you all very soon.